Yeah, you know, it's easy to demonize billionaires. It certainly is. If you've been wondering what's going off at Davos, you is so 2008, because now it's Sun Valley. That is where the world's most powerful, richest tech billionaires get together with media moguls to decide on our future, where a group of people with a collective wealth of a trillion dollars, more than 16 nations combined, come together to oppose elected democracy. And if there's any talk of breaking up their billionaire monopolies, when they come together, it's like Power Rangers, baby. No Nobody's got the force to oppose that. What goes on in there? Is it just people in gingham shirts and G-lays driving around on buggies? Or is this the most powerful people in the world coming together to make sure nothing changes? This is an exclusive invite only uh, event where they bring effectively the top movers and shakers, largely in big tech and media, come to this event to network. Think of it as the world's most exclusive networking event. The Sun Valley Conference, like Davos, is a meeting where tech billionaires and media moguls get together. Let's have a little listen to what Hamilton Nolan wrote. Here, America's wealthiest mega billionaires gather with the chief executive of America's most powerful companies and the director of the CIA, along with attendants like Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and Mike Bloomberg. So. It's the kind of people that you associate with Davos, people that have benefited hugely from the pandemic. What goes on at Sun Valley? Should this be happening? Ought we investigate it more closely? When you have this much wealth and power and influence, this is a group of people, probably the only group of people that could effectively take on the federal government. You, like me, might be interested in conspiracies, are you? And one, when you talk about conspiracies, what people will want you to do is verify it, prove that it's true. And if you sort of stray into the more esoteric and occultist aspects of conspiracy theory, it's likely that you won't be able to publicly discuss your interests or beliefs. But when there's a conference like this one and you see the most powerful people in the world, the richest people in the world, coming together to discuss obviously their shared interests, then, well, that is and form of conspiracy, they breathe together, they conspire, they come up with ideas together. Now, I'm not saying that these kind of events should be banned, I just think that they are an indication that there are some shared interests, that those shared interests are discussed, and they're discussed outside of the framework of what you and I are expected to understand as the realm of conventional politics, which is meant to be the mechanics of power. You vote, you vote if you want something to happen, or you could go to Sun Valley and sort of say, we want this to happen. What do you think is gonna have more impact? So this is how it works. They walk by, sometimes they make a joke, but they're not talking to us. They're not actually answering questions or revealing what's going on at the conference. Everything is treated as off the record, meaning they're not even supposed to talk about being here. Good morning. Can you talk to us about Apple News for a moment? No? <laughs> oh wow, God, I know all of these people from our Great Reset videos. There's people there from like their Facebook executives and Twitter executives and all sorts of powerful alphabet type mega billionaires. And maybe we don't need to speculate as to whether there's anything overtly nefarious. It's just enough to know that there's that much wealth, that many people coming together to collude, collaborate and discuss how they can continue to advance their position. Because if it was truly about sort of humanitarianism and helping others, you just would start with this. Well, we'll always pay our taxes, we'll stop lobbying for more power, and perhaps we'll create some funds that do more than just move money around, but actually have some boots on the ground style impact on the lives of ordinary people. These executives are encouraged not to talk to people like me. They come here for the opposite reason, to ditch their corporate suits and have some straight talk with their peers. Whatever they're plotting, I certainly don't know what it is yet. It also makes you realise that that show, Succession, really was good at emulating exactly what things look like. The episode where them dudes all get together it looks exactly like this, right down to the kind of little puffer jacket gilets that they're all wearing. Let's remember the context this takes place in from uh, Hamilton's article there. 40 years of wage stagnation, rising inequality, and the nightmarish gigification of all aspects of economic life are not enough to prompt us to cast a wary glance at an annual confab of all the people responsible for creating the conditions that have made it impossible to work one job and retire with dignity. That idea, I suppose, was the promise of industrialization that you could 
be a decent American or British or European or God Asian, I don't know, worker and earn a decent livelihood and retire with a pension. That was already exploitative. Industrialization was built upon exploitation. The ideas of Marx, of course, are born out of precisely that economic model. But we are way, way, way beyond that now, as this writer points out, the gigification of most of working life. When you have a group of people together with this much money, power, resources, anything they do, is going to trickle down to the rest of us. And it's not going to trickle down. We've proven that. We've shown that one thing it don't do is it don't trickle down. It trickles up. We've heard a lot about, you know, breaking up big tech, right? It's been all over the news. And obviously these guys are going to be there. Do you think they'll be talking about this and how to not break up big tech? Should we talk about how you were going to break up our businesses? Oh, no. Oh, no, that wouldn't. That would be anti-democratic. Let's just, let's just enjoy Sun Valley. Let's just go on a tandem go on a golf buggy and enjoy these nice plants. Yeah, but like we wouldn't be able to come to Sun Valley if it... Shh, hush now. Let democracy take care of this. These people that come together are trying to figure out how to come together and do bigger deals and merge and acquire, not be broken up. Likely that'll be on the forefront of minds. They're probably talking about which politicians may need a little extra campaign boost. I'm just smiling and laughing their way through corruption because I suppose over there at that media organization it's accepted that this is just the way that the system operates. And even you and I, with our cynicism and our optimism of a bold, different future, we accept that this is just the way things are and the way things have always been as well. This group of people have an aggregate worth of a trillion dollars, maybe more. So the things that they're going to talk about and, and the deals that come out of this, I am sure will ultimately in the long run impact all of us. When you consider the vast amount of wealth and the positive impact that the pandemic has had on the collective wealth of these individuals, it's difficult not to imagine that they might want to create conditions that continue to benefit their wealth and their position. And that if that were negative for humanity as a whole, that might not be an obstacle. Because I've got to tell you that this kind of economics is not beneficial to the vast majority of people. It's sort of like a seesaw. For them to succeed, other people do. Because like, you know, people say, that, no, you know, just for one person to succeed doesn't mean the other. Well, it does when there are limited resources on a planet. It does when you don't pay taxes. It does when you lobby for certain kinds of legislation. It does when you concentrate, centralize, and accumulate wealth in an irresponsible manner. Particularly when many of the advances, particularly in the case of the tech companies, come from publicly funded endeavor. We're told very particular stories. This Sun Valley Conference, new Davos for a new era, perhaps because people now are like, Davos, that's evil. Go Ixnay with the Davos! Sun Valley, see you at Sun Valley! We do a lot more than make raisins, baby! Like, it means that these new kind of groups, these new kind of, and this is the stuff that we can see on the news. God knows what goes on in secret, if this is what happens visible for us all. Do you think that they're the ones that really do keep everything moving? I mean, they're the ones that get our packages to us within sometimes, you know, 12 to 15 hours. <laughs> That's what it's come down to. Right, you're going to have to live a sort of life in a cell of idiocy and materialism, never contemplating the vast plains of bliss that lie within you. Mm, it does sound bad, but, sorry, didn't I mention, within 12 to 15 hours, you can't have a package delivered. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's easy to demonize billionaires. Certainly is. But we've all come to appreciate the, the life that they've created that we, and the conveniences they've created for all of us. No, they don't create, look, stop saying that. They didn't create the life. That's not what happened. There's tax exemption. There's lobbying. There's all sorts of grants they're giving to them. Watch the videos. They're all available for you below. The information is there. I, I'm trying to tell you. Why is it me that's being dragged off to the lunatic asylum? I could be at Sun Valley. I could go on the golf cart, couldn't I? I could join in with Twitter man and Facebook lady. Please, please. But nonetheless, I know there's a lot of attention given to things like the G7 summit but as dan just mentioned perhaps this is the most important summit for our day-to-day -day lives as everyday americans g7 right shall we give out new bus passes to the older 65 
Well, how about I don't know? Could we give him to him at 64? Meanwhile, over at Sun Valley, I'm going to fucking space with my baby brother in the rocket ship. Good idea. I'll see you up there, buddy. Where would we be without them? They do, like I mentioned, they do employ a lot of people. She lost it, didn't she? <laughs> poor, but where would we be without those billionaires delivering me a package in 12 to 15 hours? Well, I don't know, you'd have a package a bit later, but you'd also have some connection to your inner life and the outer world. Yeah. I would rather have the package. You're exactly right. And look, we shouldn't have resentment towards any group of people. Yes, we should. We should have resentment. Well, resentment might not help, but we should have a plan, a scheme, an alternative. We should be able to freely discuss it. We should be able to point out and observe the way that these these systems are being hmm, sustained through conspiracy, by which I mean to breathe together the literal Latin interpretation of that word. We should be able to discuss that freely without censorship. We should be able to propose alternatives and if we want, vote for parties that provide something genuinely different. But of course that wouldn't suit the big trillion dollar bundle down there at the Sun Valley Golf Buggy Conference. So you're never going to get off at that. I look at someone like Jeff Bezos and no matter how rich he is or how much richer he got, let's say, during the pandemic, that doesn't bother me. Right, well, I suppose if the Sun Valley Conference bothers you, like the Davos Conference evidently did, and the Great Reset formerly once did, then this is a thing to pay attention to. I'm not saying that the mainstream media don't keep things out of the news that are important. I ain't saying that the government and the media don't lie to us. What I'm saying is there is clear evidence of stuff going on that if we focus on that and were to oppose that, then that would make a real difference. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, get the old jangle bell going in your mind, then go over to Awakening and learn how to meditate on my well-being side channel there so that you can uh, not go crazy in this crazy world. If you want deeper conversations from me and guided meditations from me, subscribe to Luminary. The link is in the description. You can get it if you've got, wait for this, Apple. So <laughs> there's no way out. Also sign up to my mailing list over at russellbrand.com so we can stay in direct communication and you know, who knows what the future might hold. Stay with us.